Kubernetes Security Learning Series Point of View 22nd Topic is Behavioral Analysis and Detect Malicious Activities with Falco So as usual I am in a training.linuxfoundation.org CKS Selbus and the last chapter Monitoring, Logging and Runtime Security which is all about the Monitoring, Logging and Runtime Security right? Here first topic is Perform Behavioral Analysis of syscall process and file activities at host and container level to detect malicious activities so here are the two things behavior analysis and detect malicious activities so these two things we have to do of what syscall process file activities at the host and container level perfect now let's try to understand that as we know in the Kubernetes system we have a host let's take any host like hardware on top of that we know the OS which is a kernel space and user space in the user space we will be deploying a pods or containers right and usually what happens is if a pod has a, some administrative privileges or pod makes any system calls like a file system calls or network system calls shell binary syslink socket etc there are many kind of calls which will be interacting with the kernel space right here basically as we learned in the previous sessions that we can restrict by using seccom and as well as a app armor profiles but here the today's topic is basically behavior analysis and detect question is how to detect if some pod is hacking some my system is breaking my system how do I know right that's what that is today's topic now let's try to understand behavior analysis and detection so it means observing a malicious activity it means in this cluster any problem happens it should observe and notify you what kind of a changes any syscall file changes network connectivity any kind of a suspicious behavior which is basically breaking the security of the system of what system kubernetes system so how to notify how to we know by using a notification or alerts then that's called a behavior analysis and detection so in order to achieve this there is a tool called Falco that by using Falco we can achieve that and what is Falco? Falco is an open source cloud native runtime security system so here basically if you look at the topic they are purely talking about the runtime security so this Falco is basically runtime security tool Falco is basically for Linux systems but also for containers as well so let's try to deep drive into this particular topic Falco use for what one is privilege escalation any namespace changes happens in our kubernetes cluster or else any read write happening into the known directories like etc user bin user has been etc these are the system specific directories and system links and as well as the ownership and mode changes and unexpected network connections and some spanned process by using execute cve and then shell binaries jsh bash cache and right ksh shell binaries and mutex uh, mutating a linux core utility so these are all these things so if you go to the google and search for a falco kubernetes right then the first link is falco.org yes this is the what the we are looking and go to the documentation under the get started this is the what is the falco if this is the one falco is check for what these are the information right now let's move further falco architecture so and if you go to the get started and here is the architecture is there but let's try to understand here say let's say we have a kubernetes cluster and as we know we have a kernel space and we have a user space so in order to use the falco first you will be need a drivers falco requires a drivers to interact with the kernel space then falco will have a falco engine then falco will have a configuration of course any software you install in the linux machine it requires some configuration right and then falco will have a specifically rules right and let's say you have a pod or container 
that pod or container doing a some activities or some audit or some malicious activities or something is doing so what it will do is this falco will basically falco rules will parse this particular activities and generate output to the standard output file output https json grpc slack teams discord metrics or anywhere elastic search or anywhere many places you want to see in the file yes you can see so in this way you can achieve so where you want alert slack or teams or discord or metrics or alert elastic search anywhere so there are many many uh, integrations you can do and that way you can detect now next is a falco configuration right here we see falco configuration rules and output these three things remember first one is a falco configuration falco configuration is what it's a simple yaml file and each which has a rules which has outputs right of course in this particular uh, slide we see configuration rules and output so apart from the rules and outputs it has a plugins as well means you wanted to notify the falco specific security events to cloud trail or any json yes it's possible and event sources like a kubernetes audit event so not only from the pods but also there are audit events you can capture from the kubernetes this is also one of the feature of falco then there are many more and then you can just go navigate to the documentation and there is a configuration under that it has mentioned there are a lot many options are available for system log output file output standard output program output it has a web server grpc and there are many more configurations are there so for us basically only we only bother about the rules why because these are the rules are the because all falco is works based on the rules and those rules where it will reside in the etc falco folder if you install by using falco package way now falco can be installed in a two different ways one is a package based installation which is like a linux standard apt get install way and second is a daemon set so say this is a my kubernetes cluster so i can install by using a daemon set that which is a helm you can directly install as a helm or install as a daemon set or helm now and uh, falco configuration if i install by using a daemon set way how do i check kubectl get config map falco this particular call falco config map will have all this information now falco rule which is the most important with the with respect to falco so falco rule is basically this is the rule and if you go to the official documentation and there are falco examples this is a rule and this is a one rule so let's deep drive falco rule is again a same yaml file see if you look at the falco rule has a rules macros list what is this this is the rule what is the rule name this is the rule name run shell in a container what is the description some user friendly description what is the condition container and proc name equal to bash and spawned process uh, and proc name exists something something some condition so macro is like a something like a, it's a reusable common pattern to identify the system specific calls and what is output what we wanted to print the output in the our monitoring and detection mechanism and the most important is alerts which is a priority so priorities are different emergency alert critical error warning notice info debug but here it's a warning say if somebody open a shell container and i wanted to give a alert or error yes it's possible just change this to the war error and this example is taken from the official documentation maybe you can refer non authorized container name space change or non device written right and uh, cisco webex try to access a camera if it is any pod try to access internet so anything you can just monitor and create a rules and just deploy into the falco it will give you the alert then how to add a falco rules so falco rules are located in etc falco and falco rules.yaml so here basically when you install a falco by default it will have a default rules local rules and also you can add a custom rule as well so at c falco falco da underscore rules dot yaml is a default rule you cannot change means it's not intended for the modification but whereas local rules 
yes i you have a custom rule yes you can add it to here or else you can create a your own yaml file and put it under the etc falco some name you give it but if you use a custom rule you must update the falco configuration you just place into this directory doesn't work you have to update in the falco dot yaml file that we will see and so let's say i have installed by using a daemon setway and i wanted to add a custom rule basically all these rules are installed as a configuration maps but if you wanted to add a new custom rule create a configuration map and just by using kubectl create config map or apply config map just whatever the yaml file that way you can do now falco point of view the again important commands are basically is the checking the logs journal ctl hyphen fu falco so if you look at here right under the get started under the running run falco as a service if you run a falco as a service which is package based installation and you wanted to see the falco logs live logs this is a command journal ctl fu falco and if you wanted to know the falco specific commands and utility just falco hyphen hyphen help and whenever you modify con falco configuration and you need to restart the basically this falco um, what is that called it's a engine so for that this is a command kill hyphen minus 1 cat of this particular pid this is a command which is taken from the official documentation now let's say i have installed by using a helm or daemon setway right install right and the deployment i have installed by using a helm because helm chart is here say helm is a easy way if it is a helm way then there will be a pod named falco in that one check the kubectl logs if and if and select equal to app equal to falco and grab for the whatever there are or else you can just check the log pod logs and if i wanted to reach uh, any configuration changes you have added when you are in helm based installation then do the kubectl rollout restart of the daemon set what is the daemon set falco and we'll see that now how to implement a falco first you have a kubernetes cluster master node and two worker node let's say what you will do is first you will install a falco drivers that is the most important either kernel or ebf if you go to the falco official github page and here specifically mentioned falco needs a driver kernel module or the ebf probe but ebf probe somehow it did not work for me so uh, i use a kernel module so kernel module where you have to install you have to install in the master node and all the worker nodes that's what the it said now i have installed the falco drivers next falco package installation or helm installation or direct daemon set installation or by using a docker way as well so in the official documentation install after the installation deployment sorry not the deployment running right here the docker mode so you can run as a falco as a docker as well so this is the an option but we will use the helm based way and now i have installed the driver and i have installed the falco then third step is custom rule say i wanted to install a some custom rule basically it has a some my own custom rule in my organization is requires that custom rule i will add then after that update the falco configuration if it is a falco package install then update the falco configuration and restart the its falco service then next monitor the detecting the once it is done then it will detect to the slack so that's what the we are going to see in the today's demo now it's a demo this is what the we are going to see and i have a two node kubernetes cluster and i will refer the official documentation this is a falco official chart helm chart and also i have prepared the documentation and all the commands which i am going to run is here right so as a first step we need to install a falco driver right go to getting started install right i am in a ubuntu debian so what i will do is i have to install these two 
in the master node and worker node so what i will do is i will copy here and also i will copy this and also apt falco this one these three this command so uh, what i will do is i will go to shell and i will open a new window and cd i will navigate to the my kubernetes this thing now what i will do is i will go inside the master node in one window and here vagrant ssh node 01 i will go to the node 01 what i am trying to do is here i will try to install the falco drivers first right so now i am in a first window master node at sudo su i wanted to be as a root user sudo su then clear now these are the commands i copied basically it's i copied from the official documentation here 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 and what is this first is a gpg key second is a kernel header then third one is a falco i will install a falco but i won't start right that's what the because instead of this step i will use a daemon set but i have to install this so i'll just copy this copy and then go to here and in the master node paste it then worker node paste it yes and it's going on now i will pause the video and then uh, we'll see it took around a minute to install the drivers so now the drivers are completed now i will install a falco so here one thing is here i have installed the falco but in order to run i need to run this particular command but i don't want to run this because i wanted to follow the helm based approach not a package way right so and helm based approach is a this is a helm chart and first you need to add a helm repo so what i will do is i will go here uh, i will open a new duplicate tab and then here right mm, so what i will do is helm repo add it's already there then helm repo update and helm repo update right and it's there are many helm repos are added in my machine now it's done now what i will do is yeah helm install falco and this falco but here one thing is i wanted to send the helm alerts to the my slack channel so i have a slack this is a my slack and which is based on a gvr name what I will do is I will try to create a new channel, new channel, Slack channel, say Falco hyphen demo, some, any name you can give and I will, I wanted to make it as a public, just I'll create. No, Falco, I'm the only person in this particular flag, Slack channel. So first step is I have to add a webhook first. So yeah, Wh what is the, what I'm trying to do is whenever i installing the falco i wanted to configure slack webhook as well so in the values.yaml file because with the default installation i wanted to add some more parameter which is in the in my documentation under the here is a command i have mentioned so this is a command i wanted to use so i'll just copy this command so what i am trying here i will explain first falco sidekick enabled equal to true what is this falco sidekick is if you search here falco sidekick whenever you install a falco sidekick enable then you can make use of the alerts to this particular slack channel that's a one thing then second is full uh, what second command is the web ui enabled equal to true so what is this web ui enabled equal to true second is when falco sidekick is also one of the another repository which is if you scroll down right extremely scroll down it's mentioned that here there is a falco sidekick a different helm chart but you can configure along with the main installation what is this falco sidekick you can configure slack rocket chart mattermost teams discord google chart datadog all these things you can integrate that means whenever some suspicious alert happen into the your kubernetes cluster then immediately it will send the alerts to here so what i will i am doing is by using a falco sidekick right i will utilize the slack 
सो इफ यू लुक एट द फॉलको साइड की कैंड वैल्यू इज डॉट एम एल देर आर मेनी ऑप्शन कॉन्फिक डॉट स्लैक कॉन्फिक डॉट रैकेट चार्ट देर आर मेनी मैटर मोस्ट डेटा डॉग एलास्टिक सर्च इनफ्लक्स डी बी लो की नैट्स सो मेनी ए डब्ल्यू एस एस क्यू एस लैमडा देर आर मेनी प्लेस यू कैन पंप दिस पर्टिकुलर फॉलको लॉक्स गूगल चार्ट एवरी वेर सी काफ का ग्रफाना मेनी बट आई विल जस्ट मेक यूज ऑफ ओनली वन एंड अदर वन ब्यूटिफुल फ्यूचर इज फॉलको इट हैज अ वेब UI as well. Falco Sidekick Web UI. What is this Web UI? You can see the Falco alerts in the their own UI. So that's what the I am trying to enable in this here. So now here I have to add a Falco web hook and JSON output. Say let's say Falco is generating a plain text. By default, Falco will generate a plain text. Say I wanted to add a basically. Uh, JSON, JSON output equal to true. File output I enabled. So these two are the not ne really necessary, but I just enabled. So uh, right, let it be as it is. No problem. Right? Yeah. Now I'm in a Slack and I will go to the integration, add app, and here I have to add a web hook. Right. So incoming web hook and install, and it taken me to the browser, and this is the incoming web hook. Under I will add to my Slack. I am in a GVR channel, GVR uh, Slack, and I will click on Add and uh, add to which channel? Falco demo, yes, and add incoming webhook integration, and it give me the one webhook URL. So I will copy this webhook URL, then go to my configuration and just paste it here. Right? This is the one. The so. Whole and soul, what I am doing is I am installing a Falco as a Helm along with the my Slack integration as well, which is everything in a one shot. Which is as per the our slide, I am in a second step. This is a Helm. Now I will go to the command and just enter this. Right. So perfect. Now I will just enter. Right. Release Falco. So I will given. I have given a name as a Falco, and it's perfect. It's installed. No further action is required. Kubectl get namespace. Is there any new namespace is created? No, nothing. Cool. Now Kubectl get pod. I no. Just simply get pod. Okay. It's installed. Two Falco parts. One Falco web UI. Falco sidekick UI. Because in my Command I have added the Falco Web UI enabled equal to true and Falco Sidekick. Falco Sidekick is a basically agent to to push it to the Slack channel. So now I have already added the Slack and which is there. See Falco demo and added an integration to this channel incoming web book. Perfect. Now I'm ready to receive the alerts. So I need to wait for the this. Pods to be up, and uh, it will take us uh, some time. Uh, what I will do? I will pause the video, and uh, let's see when the pod up. Yep. Now everything is running perfectly. Now what I will do is keep CTL get pod. Perfect. Falco sidekick is running, and Falco pods are running, right? And uh, Falco web UI also running. So let's try to understand keep CTL get all. So what it is created? It's created one Falco service, Falco Sidekick, Falco Sidekick Web UI, and uh, one daemon set. Yeah, this is the what the daemon set. Basically, it's created two because it's one is running in the master and one is in the worker node. Uh, and uh, yeah, next is I'll close this window. the most important is as we seen custom rule and falco configuration so i don't want to add a custom rule and falco configuration but let's see where is this custom rules where are the default rules and where is the falco configuration if you have installed the falco by using a service i will just exit from the node one i don't need i am still in the master node right this is a master node so cd at c so if you look at here system ctl status falco because i have not i i haven't run why because 
I wanted to use as a demon set approach, uh, helm helm based approach. That's why I have been. I am not running. But if you run here, then which configurations it will take? CD, Etsy, Falco, right, and LS. Falco rules dot local, Falco rules dot yaml, Falco dot yaml. So this is a Falco configuration, and cat, Falco dot yaml and pipe, and less. It's a very big file. So this is a Falco configuration, and you will see a rule file, Falco underscore rules, which is in the Etsy Falco folder. This is a default rule. This is a local rules. This is the Kubernetes audit rules. These are rules. So these four are comes with the installation. Let's say you wanted to add a, your own custom rule. You can just create a one more uh, YAML file and then put it under this directory and add it here. You need to modify this Qualco configuration. And then it has uh, all the plugins and it has a uh, plugins. It's currently CloudTrail and as well as JSON, but it's nothing is configured. If you want, you can configure JSON output if you want that output to be as a JSON. This is JSON, or else by default plain text. Let's see the Falco uh, rules YAML. So cat Falco rules dot YAML, right? And then less because it will be a big. So these are the Falco rule. These rules are basically comes with the default installation, and it has uh, some macros, right? Oh, just wanted to see, right? Yeah. See, this is the rule. This is the rule. What is the rule description and its condition? Its condition is a very big from the above and and what is the alert? It's an error. So likewise, there are many default rules and local falco dot local. So cat falco local. This is a, everything is commented here, right? Falco local. Everything is a commented here. If you want it, you can just go and add here whatever the custom rule. So if you go to the GitHub page, my GitHub page, and there is unauthorized access, some custom rule. So you can just uh, specify like uh, my Apache or ping server or anything is just doing a uh, some ping namespace or whatever this rule you it's an error you can go and add it here or else you can define a custom. So this is about the all the about the Falco but we are not using this methodology but we are following the demon set uh, helm based approach. So if it is a helm based approach where are the default configuration now kubectl get config map right there is a falco config map so this is the falco config map where everything is there so what i will do is i will cd double dot and i will navigate to the my yaml folder right and then kubectl get config map and kubectl get config map falco and hyphen o yaml then i will what i will do is i will redirect to falco dot yaml and this falco.yaml will be stored in the this directory so uh, i will i have opened a visual studio code this falco.yaml right so if you look at here application rules right uh, so i am referring to this particular configuration map which is come with the, this installation so and you see this here right this is a one yaml aws cloud trail rules falco.yaml falco local rule falco rules audit rule these are the all the configurations which is there along with the this particular falco installation right so this is a falco.yaml file you see sir right and uh, if you wanted to uh, add a custom rule so it's a very simple you just need to create a one yaml file and apply yaml file next is what i will do is here in the same here there is a pod called a bad deployment which is a nginx or else i will i will take this curl deployment which is a uh, host ipc enabled network is true host pid true and security context privilege equal to true run as a user root user right privilege escalation it's all the hacking part it's an it's a very very uh, security sensitive part but i will try to install this here i copied here i'm in the same directory of course ls this is a call deploy i will do 
kubectl apply iphone f and when i just open the slack see already is there see already there are some alerts are received so what i will do i will just enable the uh, resume the notifications i resume the notification now see when i just try to install right see yeah there is a maybe you might have heard the noise right so these are the alerts are coming already right see right to below root see if you look at the latest error right right below root error file below root opened for the writing user equal to root uh, user login id minus 1 this is a container blah 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 wonder worker node so it it's given me the alert of the what is a system call going on with this right uh, right here is uh, the various uh, all the alerts are came right right to below root and all right so what i will try to do is so it's pod kubectl get pod yeah pod is created my curl pod what i will do is kubectl execute iphone it so before that i wanted to show something as we see kubectl get svc right there is a falco sidekick ui this ui also you will be able to see how to see that ui this is a cluster ip 2802 so i need to make it as a node port to see or else i can port forward so kubectl port forward uh, falco sidekick ui and uh, 2802 and i will expose to localhost 2802 and then what i will do i will just run this in a different uh, tab so that it will keep running duplicate tab and i'll just enter here now my localhost 2802 what it's running it's a falco sidekick web ui and i'll go here localhost 2802 and slash ui see this is the my falco sidekick web ui so what exactly it's showing it's showing me the all the events error whatever the error alerts i am getting into the my slack channel same alerts are getting here as well i can go to the dashboard and i can see i can filter out launch privilege container and write to below root so i wanted to check what are the privilege container in my system right this is a privilege container so what is the time and everything it will show priority timeline it's a very very beautiful ui which is comes with the falco installation so this is a falco sidekick ui so and here i selected here and you can check the priorities i am only care about the errors right you can just select the errors and just filter out and monitor or i want all right so in that way this is the one and if you just double click it and you will see what is a notice rule priority is a notice right rule priority there are many priorities right in the theory i told you so these are the priorities right so and if you wanted to make this as alert just go and change that particular configuration right notice privilege container started this is a container id and the default namespace everything is there the pod name also it is there so that you can go and directly kill that pod so in this way you can really alert the really you can achieve this malicious activity detecting and behavioral analysis you can do with this or else same thing is available here as well right i hope you understand this one now next this is a falco web ui uh, under the events and uh, i'll just navigate to the events now what i will do is i will open the kubectl execute in interactive way i wanted to open a shell this one this pod hyphen hyphen shell say when as soon as when i enter then i got a slack alerts right you see right so and right to below root there are various others as well so let me show so as soon as i entered then i go to the falco sidekick ui here also you will see the dashboard events right uh, not a informational everything sorry time range in the last say last 30 minutes last 30 minutes what are the, uh, these are the alerts are came and also same alerts are available here so what i will do is i will go here and uh, a touch so mkdir hyphen p at c under gvr folder i will create just try to 
and gvr that test under that spoil something and then mkdir say i will touch in this directory i will uh, try to write a file called something hello hello hello.txt right so as soon as i write i return the file into the etc directory then immediately i got a alert as well my slack alerts right uh, so here I, I got a different alert right to not right to below root uh, let me show you right to below 8c if you search here yeah see right to below 8c because i am trying to uh, see see gvr 8c gvr test spoil hello.txt just now i created hello.txt right file so that's how it's monitoring and showing me the alerts right and uh, you go to the sidekick ui same thing you will see uh, in the last not 30 minutes just last 15 minutes you will see the errors and alerts and all how many critical and all you will see so this is the way uh, you can just monitor and it's you can configure what and other thing is just to, to show apt get update let's see no uh, what i will do is uh, i will exit from the i'll try to delete the uh, any folder say uh, mk uh, basically rm iphone rf right at c and gvr i'll create so uh, there is no default rule but we need to add in case of anything deletion so what i will do is i will show another example right and kubectl delete uh, kubectl get deployment right and this is a call deployment right so i will delete this deployment kubectl delete deployment call deployment it's deleted and what i will do is i will try to deploy this bad deployment which is a nginx so let's try to install that so what i will do kubectl kubectl apply iphone f what is the name bad hyphen deploy so bad hyphen deployment which is bad deployment also same which has all the privileges and the privilege root run as a user privilege escalation and some linux capabilities all super permissions i have so now immediately i got alert and i got a slack alerts as well right so it's showing me right and uh, then what i will do is i will kubectl get pod yeah it's still container is creating but let's wait for a few seconds kubectl get pod yeah something is uh, got alert right uh, now kubectl yeah this bad deployment pod is running so now kubectl execute in interactive way and then bad deployment and hyphen hyphen and shell i open yeah, and it's coming right uh, now the general falco demo right and see i in my other desktop it's coming all the alerts um, i won't be able to share the screen yeah here and one more thing uh, what i will do is apt get update i'll try to update the and and when i as soon as i update i got another alert right see 23 uh, new messages see this is a this time different rule launch package management process in the container because i am trying to do the apt update if i try to do again apt get update then again i got alert so this is the rule is this one so where is this rule exist this rule is exist in the config map which is uh, in the if you go here falco configuration map and if you wanted to see where this exactly rule is exist in the falco installation you go to the falco helm chart under the rules there is a falco rules.yaml open this and this is a yaml file which is there in the same kubernetes system right and uh, say t touch at c uh, then demo one two three folder no touch slash etc demo one two three dot one two three dot txt right then again i got alert so these alerts so this is a launch package management i'll copy here 
and I'll go to the Falco rule. This is the rule, and just Control F and just search at C. This is the rule is getting executed, and uh, you can check any rule. All are from the default because I have not added any new custom rule. I can add as well, but just this for the demo point of view, I'm not adding. I'm making use of existing one. So right, right below root. So there is another rule, right below root rule, right. So I'll go to the Falco rule and right, right to below root. Yeah, see. this is the right to below root is the one of the falco rule this is the one rule right and i wanted to add a my custom rule how to do that here i have a one custom rule in the falco directory which is this one which is a very simple so in order to add a custom rule we we can override the existing rule so here falco rules local dot yaml which is the blank by default installation go to the helm and where you will be able to see right uh, under the helm rule right under the rules there is a local.yml which is a by default it's completely blank i am overriding here so this is a uh, customer rules right and and i will what i will, will go here right clear kubectl get config map by default the default configuration is there i am adding a new rule so kubectl apply iphone f and what is the uh, under falco folder and custom rule if i apply that then kubectl get config map that's it there is a new rule is added and kubectl describe config map and this falco or new rule so my new rule is added in that way you can add a new rules and if you wanted to do that kubectl get daemon set this is a daemon set kubectl uh, roll out restart right and a daemon set then daemon sets will be restarted come on then your rule will be activated right uh, so in that way you can achieve the basic, see here this falco yeah and the most important is uh, checking the logs right as we see in the right in, the, in order to check the log kubectl get pod hyphen hyphen show labels right uh, if you look at the falco pods and there is a label called app and falco here here if you wanted to check up falco logs kubectl get pod either you check a pod logs this pod log this pod log or else kubectl get pod hyphen hyphen show labels and it has a app equal to falco this both the pods right kubectl logs of this particular pod and which has a all the logs right here whatever the we see the error file below and all these things right whatever we see in the slack messenger all the logs are available in the pod level as well since it's a two pods are running so the better way is kubectl get pod right uh, since the two is running we don't know whether this pod has that log at this pod so uh, the better way is kubectl logs hyphen hyphen select are equal to app equal to falco right uh, and then grep for what i wanted to check for a error right so see this is a grep for error so this is the way you can check and monitor the uh, logs from the pod if you install by using a helm based installation so the thing is you need to basically override this this helm values and what is required and all and i am just trying to uh, explain like how this works with respect to the helm based and uh, simple falco based means you can just follow the all the official documentation and also my uh, github page also i have provided whatever the, uh, the commands i used here and everything i hope this session is helpful and sorry for the very long video and thank you and let me know your feedback in the form of a comment thank you bye bye